So the next one, I'll, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, is how you how you create a post. Now I'm going to use an example of a post for doing this, but you can just click Add New. Now with with the post, you'll get different options for your screen on diff all the different features you can have with the post, and you can customize that, and you can customize the order in which these appear. Yeah, in whatever order you want, you can put that up there. I like to have the feature image up here um, and then the information about the post. Okay, so let's go through the, uh, the, an overview of the post, of, of actually adding a new post. Your title is really important, okay? Your title controls, uh, controls the, um, you know, what, the SEO that's going to be used in your site. So try to make it really a really descriptive title. Okay, and then you've got your content. You've got two areas here. You've got the visual area, which is the beginner's area, okay? And then the, the, you've got the HTML area, okay? Now, the important thing is that when you uh, add a... If you're ever going to cut and paste from Microsoft Word, you never do it in the visual editor. You always do it in the text editor, and that will strip out all the junk that gets included with that, okay? Uh, your themes... Uh, should also support um, some other basic things, but we'll go through through that later. Okay, so here you've got your title, and then then you've got the the content of your of your post. Okay, which is displayed there, and that will continue to ruin that. But anyway, then you've got the content of your post, and on the right hand side you've got what date it's published. Now you can forward publish a post. Okay. You can so you can write the post today and have it go up on Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. or whatever date and time you want. So you can do all your posts in one day and then have them go up at different intervals. And then you've got your featured image. Okay, now I'm just going to remove that. This is what you'll see with the featured image is that. And then you can just select that uh, and image is uploaded to this post. And then you select, you can upload the file, but I've just already got one uploaded. You can do that by dragging and dropping or selecting the file. And then you click select set featured image, and your theme should always support a featured image. Okay, that's pretty much all you've got to do to make the image look good. You've got to choose an image that's going to fit your your site. You don't want to choose an image that's a portrait image because it's going to look horrible. Okay, so you've got to be very careful. Um, the rules that I have with with images is I always use landscape. I never use portrait style images because they're always useless. And if you're getting a photographer to do photographs for you. Always get them to do a portrait, uh, a landscape style photograph because you can then edit that and, and crop it into a portrait if you want. So you can use it for many things. But if you use a portrait, you're stuck with that size. Okay, so we've got title, we've got the description text, we've got the date set up, we've got the featured image. You can add tags for it, okay, um, for your post. And you can also uh, select its categories. Always select a category. That's 100%. Okay, so let's go with, through the 100% things you must have. You must have a title, you must have the description text, you must have a featured image, um, and you must have a category selected. They're the basics you must have. Now, if you want to set up the SEO and you've got that set up, you can override uh, the, the stuff with your SEO plugin. But anyway, I'm going to go through these things a bit later on. But this is just a general overview of adding a new post. Now I'm going to get into the minutiae of each, each um, aspect of a post.